only way we go is with Waco. Now here we are, we find ourselves in the middle of Cape York, Australia. Pretty much in the middle of nowhere because there's nothing around bar us again and we're hungry. Thinking a bit more of a luxury food this evening, I'm going to have a go at pizza. I'm going to cook you up a couple of different ways of doing pretty basic ham and pineapple Jason Rotto style camping pizza. So I'm going to give that a shot. We'll start off with a few ingredients that I do have. Besides the ham which I'm going to substitute as bacon, we're going to throw in some onion, a little bit of coriander on some of the pizzas and barbecue sauce because I just purely love barbecue sauce. So we'll throw those ingredients into the fridge to keep fresh and I'll muck around with the dough to start off to get the bases right. Now we'll muck around with a bit of flour, get a bit dusty and dirty. This is an absolute beauty. If you've got kids, they can all join in and help rolling around with the dough, have some fun and then at the end of it they can throw all bits and pieces on their own particular pizza. Now when mucking around with some bread or dough or dampers, it's imperative that you actually put down some flour first. We roll that around, spread it around. Like I said, it's unreal for the kids. They love this sort of stuff. Okay, so our first weird looking object is this one here. So I'm gonna have to make a pizza dough that's actually gonna fit that shape. Place it down there and we'll just cut all the excess dough off around it. Like so, the inside ring as well. This one's probably gonna be nicknamed the donut pizza. There you go, look at that bit more flour on the actual baking tray so it doesn't stick and voila one base down two to go and there we have it there's number two out come the ingredients out of the fridge and we're ready to dress them first dressing tomato paste pretty obvious this one I think it's pretty much a base for nearly every single pizza now, trick of mine, barbecue sauce. Just a little bit. Don't go overboard with it. Onion, that's going to about do it just nicely, I think. Bacon, we all love bacon. Now this one here, we're going to spice up with just a little herb of mine, which I absolutely a door, coriander. Look at that. Last ingredients, of course, is the cheese. Once again, people swamp their pizzas in cheese, so we're just going to go nice and easy and not absolutely drown it, I reckon. But that's one down. One to go. That's probably going to be mine because it's obviously bigger and fuller. Jace has got a big hole missing out in the middle, but he won't worry about that. The old tomato paste is a base. Just slap her on. This is luxury food when you're out camping, and to tell you the truth, it's not that hard. If you get someone making up a, a dough or a bread mix, you can keep this left over in the freezer. It'll last for months in the freezer. And that's what we've done. We've just pulled it out knowing full well we're going to have a bit of a pizza cook up one night. You're probably wondering or why well, I've got such a funny pizza dish. The camp oven here, the hillbilly camp oven that we use, this dish here actually sits about 200 mil up off the bottom which is pretty good for cooking pizzas because you don't want it sitting directly on the bottom and all that heat there, it's going to burn. So you want it sort of raised just a little bit so it sort of ovenizes as much as you can. After the pineapple, you've just got your, your cheese. There we have it. One donut pizza for Jace. One big pizza for me. I'll be full. Now they're ready for the camp oven. So we're going to preheat those camp ovens and then drop them in, check them in 20, half an hour, whatever, how long ever it takes and we're going to eat them up. They smell just about ready, so we'll have another go. See if they're ready to consume. Oh yeah, donut pizza. Ooh, it's ready too. Good as gold. Whip them out, throw them on the 
plate, cut them up, and we'll have a taste, eh? Hey, Jacey! What's up, mate? Come over and have a taste of this yeah, pizza. Ready to go. That's yours? Yeah, and I'm also going to have some of yours as well. There you go, mate. Where's half the middle of it? Where's the guts out of my pizza? I don't know. Pizza's supposed to be round. <laughs> it's round, it's got two circles, one on the outside, one on the inside. Yeah. Count yourself lucky. Taste that and tell me what you think.